Good deals aren't found, they're made. Now, this is true in most markets, but especially in today's market. It takes a lot of hard work. You can't just expect to look down and pick up a good deal, especially a deal that nobody else is going to notice. I mean, number one, if it was that great of a deal, the seller probably wouldn't want to sell it. And number two, if it was really a good deal and the seller wanted to get rid of the property, well, then there'd be a lot of interest more often than not and probably a bidding war, which more often than not means that you're trying to find a property where there's opportunity to solve somebody else's problem where you can take it and turn it into something profitable because either the current owner doesn't wanna take the time or effort to solve that problem, they're done with the property, or maybe there's an opportunity that you see that they don't see. And it's not always some exclusive or unique opportunity. The difference is that you're willing to put in the work to create that opportunity, to create that additional equity and or passive income. Maybe you're converting it from a long-term rental to a short-term rental or you're leveraging some unused square footage to convert to an additional bedroom or a bathroom. There's many options and opportunities here to create additional equity and or opportunity to increase rents. In the end, you're doing something creatively to create more value from the property. That could be either increasing the income, increasing the equity, or both. So let's talk about this current market. Interest rates, they're still pretty high compared to the past few years. Throw on top of that the fact that home values haven't really decreased much. Now, of course, real estate is local, but in popular areas like in Colorado where I live, they haven't really decreased much and I don't really see them decreasing much because, well, number one, inventory is still very low. There's not much out there. And a driver of this, but also a secondary factor is the fact that people aren't moving and a lot of people aren't moving because of those high interest rates, right? They have their homes locked in at a low interest rate and it just doesn't make financial sense for them to trade out of their current home into something else where more often than not, they're going to have a much higher mortgage. Meaning you have to find ways to justify a purchase at a higher interest rate. In order to do that, you need to uncover some untapped potential in the property to add value to it, which is really a great skill to have because this helps you find deals in any market. So you wanna increase the value or increase the income stream. So think about ways of doing that. Things like remodeling the property or again, adding a bedroom or bathroom to the property. You've heard me say this before or potentially even converting it from a long-term rental to a short-term rental or maybe even a mid-term rental depending on the dynamics of the market. Yeah. It takes work, it's not easy, but it's definitely not difficult. It's something that anybody can do with a little bit of effort. All right, that's it for this episode. Any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. If you wanna stay up to date on my latest content, definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next episode.